Doidge, and that is how you spell his name, wrote the book, The Brain That Changes Itself. I highly recommend it. Has anyone read it? Yeah. Isn't it really good? It's a compilation of literature about neuroplasticity. And it's about children with autism, children with hearing loss, adults with dementia, with traumatic brain injury, autism. Fascinating. And he has many words of wisdom that he synthesizes from the literature. And one is, when we want to remember something we have heard, we must hear it clearly, because memory can be only as clear as its original signal. Muddy in, muddy out. Not only muddy out in terms of how you sound, but muddy out in terms of memory. So if I were to say, now remember that. Remember what? So memory is based on the clarity of the signal and the number of times in an appropriate fashion that the signal is learned, is heard. Child children learn words. And they have to learn a lot of words, a lot. Children learn words not by labeling, but by the use of the object or the concept within a social conversational context, and especially in the early years as we talk to parents. So a child doesn't learn glass or anything by saying glass, cup, saucer, pen. You don't learn it that way. How you learn it is, Oh, here's mommy's glass. It's mommy's glass of water. Look at this glass. It's clear. Mommy's glass. I'm going to take a drink of my glass of water. That's how you learn glass. By the use of it within a social context. Not by labeling. Not by writing a word and memorizing it. It's by using it. Concrete objects are easy. Abstract ones are a little more difficult. But still using them is critical. And we must always use complete grammar, even if it's a clause. So if I'm talking about this is a glass, it's a glass. It's my glass. It's the glass that I have been using. It's your glass. It's a full glass. It's half full. It's, 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 it's. One of the hardest things to hear because non-salient morphological markers, the t. Many of our children have trouble with those sounds because they don't hear them enough, clearly enough. Use articles, use contractions, use pronouns. All children need to hear it, whether they have a hearing loss, whether English is not their primary language, whether they have attention issues. Use correct grammar. That's part of being an effective communicator. Deutsch also talks about as we discussed earlier, when you learn something new that requires active attention, which is activating that prefrontal cortex. While we can learn with divided attention, divided attention does not lead to any changes in your brain maps. The only way we're going to alter what you know is to create new neural connections. The only way to create new neural connections is to have that capacity activated by attention through the prefrontal cortex. If your children aren't attending, they are not learning. There's no magic. Attention can be captured by the effective use of voice 
and of sound enhancement technology. As it's all about the brain. Acoustic accessibility isn't about ears, it's about the brain. It's about accessing, stimulating, and growing from a brain access tool perspective. You've got to get through that doorway. Got to go through the environment, through the doorway, through any technology a child might have into the brain. Any weak link, and you just talk to the floor. Floor has no neural connections. <laughs>